So let's move on to part three here. Now we are gonna wanna make some changes to this code and this is gonna show us how updating the application itself changes things. So they want us to change a paragraph inside of the SRC static JS app.js file. So let's head back into VS code. So we're in SRC, we're in static. We're gonna go to index.js, JS app.js, sorry. And then go to 56. And then we're simply gonna change this text to be what they told us. We're gonna go ahead and save that. But now that we've updated the application, that means we actually have to build another version of this image because the image we built cannot be rewritten. It is completely read only. And so if we're going to make any changes, we have to create another image. And so that's what exactly what we're going to do. We're going to run the same Docker build command in the terminal, and that's going to build another image. And so what, now what we're going to do is we're going to run container command, but we're going to get an error here because we already have a container with that name that's binded to port 3000. Now, if we want to remove the old container that this will bring us back into Docker PS. So we're going to run Docker PS. And so we can see that this container is still running. So what we're going to do is we're going to say Docker RM, paste the container ID. And that should give me another error saying you cannot remove a running container. So we're going to say Docker RM and put in the F flag that will stop the container as well as remove the container. So I'm going to do that. And that should now get rid of it. And now we can see that this has stopped and we can copy and paste this again. And now we've created another container and it has started running with the updated image. Now, if we go back into the to do app and refresh this, you can see that it's completely fresh and the new text has been added. So that's what happens when you go and update an application.